Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're on the trail of the most depressing town in the UK 2024. Earlier this year, a website called ilivehere.co.uk, a scathing satirical website, asked its readers to vote for the UK's most depressing town. A statement by I Live Here said, bland, boring, soul-destroying mediocrity with a gaping cultural void. That is what our poll is about. This year, we are ditching the usual suspects to focus on those towns throughout this septic aisle that give you an almost terminal case of ennui. The towns where you just exist rather than live. The results came in with number three, Aberdeen. Number two, Peterborough. But number one will surprise you. It's a Cornish town, but which one? If you're new to our channel, we live in Cornwall and the town that's been voted the most depressing is actually in our county. So we're gonna take a look around. Is it really that depressing? Let's find out. I'm sure every town has bits like this that people just don't want you seeing. But does this town have more than any other place? I don't think it does. So we're obviously in the back street. Does that sign give you a clue? Or maybe the fire alarm up there. Have you guessed where we are yet? What's the point of this video? <laughs> well, we could be in Egypt. <laughs> it's an obelisk or a pyramid? I'm not quite sure. I think it's a pyramid. Oh, okay. What anchor was responsible for this pole? <laughs> I don't think you can say that. Oh, okay, sorry. And they've even got colourful signs. I am in a shell grotto, surrounded by shells. And it seemed appropriate to read out this book. This is The Shell Guide to Cornwall. It's written by John Betjeman in 1965. And he says of this place that it's kind of three parts to the town. There's a dockyard, the beach, and the fishing harbour. He describes it as a superb situation at the estuary of Seven Rivers. And you've got the two castles overlooking the mouth of the bay. And he says that uh, the change of light on cliffs and wooded slopes and headlands, the changes of colour in the water and sky, the warmth at most times of the year, the tropical vegetation atone for the ugliness of its newer suburban streets and estates. More than any town in Britain, it resembles Sydney, Australia, with its sudden rushes of water seen through tropical trees. So have you guessed where we are yet? So this place has been voted the most depressing place in the UK 2024. Who could be depressed without you? Not me, for sure. So depressing, what does it mean? According to Google, it says causing or resulting in a feeling of miserable dejection. Or the alternative meaning is causing damaging reduction in economic activity. Is this place that? Let's find out. I find it really hard that this has been voted the most depressing town in the UK 2024. And there's the clue. If you haven't already guessed, this is vibrant, busy Falmouth. Would you rate this town as the most depressing in the UK? I Live Here website asks readers to vote for towns that sap the residents' will to live, are bland, boring and soulless. If, like the creators of this vote, you have never visited Falmouth, let's take a look around. So the things that would make me call a place depressing, empty shops. Yeah. Homelessness, visible mm -hmm. homelessness. Yeah. Graffiti. Yes. And rubbish overflowing bins. 
Shall we see if there's any of that in Falmouth? Let's have a look. What are you doing? Filming bins. Why? Why not? Can I just put it out there? I think any high street you walk up and down will have empty shops. Yes, yeah, in transition. You're always going to have a bit of graffiti around. It's yeah. always a slightly rougher area of a town, isn't it? I think every town has its problems with homeless people. Um, what was the other one? Whether it's boring, bland and economically depressed, well, the shops that were empty yeah. have filled, There's haven't they? not there? many either, no. Most of them are left. Yeah, and even the Marks and Spencers that left a big hole is being redeveloped. Yes. To me, the high street looks to be healthy economically, with lots of small independent and even specialist shops. That shop just sells flapjacks. Just flapjacks? Just flapjacks. Same one, same one. Oh, it's good, think as well that if you can have like a shop dedicated to wool or flapjacks then it's obviously got a good economic base. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. He loves this figurehead. I knew it would have to feature in our video somewhere. I saw him dash down this alleyway. I knew he was going to film this. No wonder I she's looking grumpy, Sarah. Why is that? <laughs> Farmer's been voted the most depressing place in the United Kingdom. I'd be looking grumpy as well if I was. Give in us Farmer. your grumpy face then. <laughs> I can match her, I reckon. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Everywhere in Falmouth, you get a glimpse of the water too. I really don't understand why Falmouth has been voted the most depressing place in the UK. So much about Falmouth that just makes you want to smile. Look at the waterfront. Tides out, but it still looks wonderful. Boats on the water, people are messing around on the water. I just don't get this. I have a theory though, perhaps we'll share that at the end of the video. So I Live Here opens their survey by saying this year we've done something a little different. They wanted to highlight those towns that sap the residents will to live. Bland, boring, soulless, uncultured Middle England municipalities of mediocrity. It's not easy to say. Great alliteration though. So they're looking for places that imbue the inhabitants with an almost terminal case of boredom. And this place is meant to be top of the list. Can you believe it? I can't. I looked it up. Do you know who won this award in 2023? No. <laughs> Luton. Luton? Yeah, it's not even a town, is it? I thought it was it's a, a city. city. There's quite a few of these, I think, that are cities. I know it's Peterborough's in it. Blackpool's in there on the list. Okay. So you can put the list together. I yes. Don't know, uh, put it on the maybe screen the now. Top 10 or something put like it on that. now. Yeah. Here is the list at 20 with Chatham, and I'll let you read that for yourself. 19. Basingstoke in Hampshire and Wells in Somerset takes spot 18. We then head to Blackpool in Lancashire and the first of our Devon towns, Tynmouth, followed by Torquay at number 15. To be honest, I got a bit lost with all the adverts obliterating the roll call of towns at this point and diminishing their witty roundups. So let's give you the top three. At number three, Aberdeen in Scotland. Are you colour blind? Do you have that monochrome sort of colour blindness? Then Aberdeen is the town for you. For everyone else, unless lots of grey stone is your architectural jam, or you're just too smacked up to notice, you should avoid Scotland's oil capital. At number two, Peterborough in Cambridgeshire. Depression, noun, as in low spirits, despair. Synonyms, cheerlessness, woefulness, ennui, melancholy, Peterborough. And at number one, as we've already mentioned, in comes Falmouth, Cornwall. 
<laughs> I wonder who wrote that then. Well, you can feel the sarcasm coming off the page, can't you? It's almost as if like Clarkson has written it or something. Uh, it makes you laugh. <laughs> so when they discuss the results with Falmouth being top of the list of the most depressing places in the UK, they said the power of social media and word of mouth is what's propelled Falmouth to number one, and it just beat. Uh, Peterborough in Cambridgeshire by 27 votes in the last 12 hours of voting and they say they do admit they know nothing about Falmouth and they said they googled it it looks picturesque but they're sure it's a facade that it trades on and who are they to question the wisdom of the crowd well I'm here to question it I think they might have been hoodwinks but more about that later what do you make of that list do you think it's fair do you think Falmouth should be at the top I don't. There's a couple of Scottish ones in. I know Aber Aberdeen was one of them. Aloha. Aloha. Mm, okay, quite well, near the top. Sounds quite nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> quite romantic and foreign, but <laughs> obviously the residents don't think so. Yeah. So you said what Peterborough was number two on that list. Yeah. 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 I, w I wonder if anybody's watching. I wonder if any of them have had a look at that website and see if their town or city is on there. Yeah. And it, uh, do you live near some of these places? Um, do they warrant being on this list at all? Is it a bit like Falmouth? I mean, we read these things from time to time, and they're like throwaway <laughs> articles, aren't they? Yeah, but they, they give capture, you a bit of a giggle, don't they? Yeah, and they but, capture the media but, attention. They get into national papers, don't yes, they? Yeah. And then, so then this website gets advertised, and yeah. then they can charge more for their advertising on their website because <laughs> yeah. have more hits to it. That's, that's kind of how it works. Yeah, it? There is a serious is. message here. If you're a business owner in Farmer, if you're trying to promote this area, this town, yeah. and you have that to compete with, and it's a load of rubbish. It really is an <laughs> it absolute is, it load is, of rubbish, it is, isn't it? Complex. Then, you know, that, that could actually affect business here. Well, I doubt it, actually. I think Falmouth is bigger than that, don't you? <laughs> it's busy today. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> So if you do your entertaining and art, some things like you've got all sorts going on here. You've got the art gallery in Falmouth, yeah. haven't you? You've got Princess Pavilions, which is really nice. There's loads of live events going on there. Nice to go in there and have a cup of coffee, a bit of cake. They're quite accessible as well. They're not highbrow. It's like your comedians, your mainstream comedians yeah, will come down, won't there, they? Yeah. yeah. You've got Event Square as well. We haven't been down there yet, but you've got um, the National Maritime, Maritime uh, Museum. Museum down there. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. a cinema. Yeah. There's all sorts going on. I don't get it. Street performing. Really don't get it. Falmouth also has a full catalogue of events. You've, it kicks off in May with Falmouth Food Festival. The Sea Shanty Festival follows that. And if I can work my phone, I'll tell you what else there is. There's the Falmouth Classics, which is looking at older boats. There's the RNLI Castle to Castle Swim, so that's from St Moore's to Pendennis. And in addition to that, you have Pendennis putting on its annual festivals. You've got Falmouth Week with fireworks in the middle of August. It goes on. You've got Falmouth Oyster Festival and it carries on. There's just so much going on in Falmouth. I don't understand why anyone would think it was bland, uncultured or boring. In addition to that, you have the student population, which brings diversity and age. And it's, it's really a vibrant town. That's interesting artwork from local students, artists and alumni dedicated to the uni. The uni has a big cultural influence on Falmouth as well, doesn't yeah, there it? Is, it's, it's, it's a lot of generations in Falmouth, isn't yes. there? You know, it's, 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 it's a melting pot of crea creativity. Have a look at this. <laughs> Made me laugh. <laughs> Get Greg's out of Kerno. Don't let chains kill our local pasty shops. Quite right too. Quite right, yes. <laughs> Any town that's got one of these surely can't be on that list, Sarah. What is it? It's a public bike repair stand. Right. So you've got a problem oh with your, uh, with your bike. You might be able to fix it. It's got all the, the tools that you would need. Yeah. Actually, that's quite clever. It is clever, isn't it? I've clever. never seen one of those. Have you got your bike with you? <laughs> no, unfortunately I haven't. <laughs> and that comes to another point. It's got brilliant transport links compared with some other places here in Cornwall. You've got the Penryn to Truro branch line, or Falmouth to Truro branch line. You've got the buses, they're pretty good around here. 
and the roads aren't bad either. I, I, I am bemused. <laughs> Don't know if I've said that enough, but yeah, confused, bemused. Even the seagulls are protesting. They've even got my very, very favourite shop as well, Sarah, but more of that later. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> that will have to wait for later. Just now, I need to refuel. In this cafe, they encourage you to peruse the books and maybe buy one or two whilst you're there. That definitely ticks my culture box. <laughs> Had a really interesting chat, the ladies. Best burgers in Falmouth. Meat <laughs> counts are delicious. Let's take a look at that list and think about is there any similarities? Well, I've got a list of the top 20 here. The yeah. thing I'm really pleased to report on is four of these uh, in the top 20 are all in Devon. <laughs> Can I say that? So you've got Torquay, Tynmouth, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've got uh, Paynton and Tiverton. I think Tiverton's yeah. in Devon, isn't it? It is. It yeah. is. So, again, is there any, you know... From... Well, Paynton, Torquay and Tynmouth are seaside towns, aren't they? Perhaps they're a bit like Blackpool that they've had their day. I Live Here says, there was bound to be a faded seaside town on our list. Winter in these towns is enough to make even the most hardened turn to smack. Blackpool fills the turd rolled in glitter entry a treat. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps they just visited these places out of season, maybe, and they were quiet. Well, perhaps they're long-term residents that hate living there. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I, I, I have actually got a, an idea about this, who voted for Farmer. Yeah. Right, well, it's a couple of things. I mean, I, I think it may have just been some bored students in, from, from the uni. You've I think they might have all, all, all <laughs> got together one evening and had a few too many <laughs> drinks. But I know what will be a vote. good idea. We'll vote. The, the other thing I am suspecting is it could be residents of Penryn that have voted for Farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if you live in Cornwall, you'll understand why. Can I just read out the last thing about uh, that's on the website about them having never visited Falmouth? I'll just to get out a second. They never visited. No. How can they vote for it? They didn't visit. No. It. <laughs> well, they obviously didn't vote for it. The people that put the survey together. Right. The website people. They admit they've never been to Falmouth. Right. I don't know what I'm missing out on. They should come. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> So the website owners, they even say, hell, we might even take a trip to this Cornish port and stay in an Airbnb that's now owned by a London landlord that a local family once lived in to take in what we imagine is the sterile, cleansed fishing theme park for DFLs down from London. So is that your opinion? Do you share that opinion? Again, it sounds like Clarkson's written it <laughs> to me. Hammond! <laughs> On a more serious note, there is probably an element of truth in that some of these properties are now owned by Londoners that rent them out for the summer season, making it more difficult for people to get a foothold on the ladder. And do you know that is the one thing that does depress me, is the house prices in Falmouth. They are quite high. The old Victorian semi-detached are favourites for landlords to convert for student accommodation, reducing the amount of houses in the marketplace. Coupled with the demand from retired people wanting to move to Falmouth, that does put pressure on housing stock. A little bit of history for you. Falmouth's not always been called Falmouth. Right. It was originally called Penny Come Quick. It was also called Smithwick at okay. one stage and later became Falmouth. And it's named Falmouth because it's on the mouth of the River Fowl. Falmouth is an old town, but it's not quite as old as Penryn, its nearest neighbour, which is further down river. Finding this pole a barrel load of laughs. <laughs> oh, 
I'm getting excited now, Sarah. Happy boy now, aren't oh, you? I am, aren't I? You Chicago. could spend a half a day in there, couldn't you? Quite happily. Best shop in Cornwall. <laughs> So cool. Cool. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Look with your eyes. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm feeling all of a quiver. <laughs> oh, Sarah, I could do some tea. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Sarah, do you need one of these? <laughs> Not at the moment, darling. You've got everything in here in the kitchen sink. Sarah? Do we need a cement mixer? No. Alright. So if we said we don't understand how Falmouth got this title, do you guys come down to Falmouth? I'm guessing some of you will have spent a day, or maybe a week here. Did you come away feeling miserable? Because I know when I come to Falmouth, I love it. 10 minute video you said. How many clips? Yeah, sorry about that. I got carried away in Trago. How many times do we say we like Falmouth? <laughs> Our channel is in danger of being a channel of superlatives. Best, worst, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> worst video ever. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, we did do another survey recently that said Saltash was the best place in Cornwall to live. And that was based on like data and criteria, but this one is voted for by people. Yeah, they put salt ash at number one, and I think mean, Falmouth was number three, wasn't it? Yeah. And that was out of 21 places in, in, in Cornwall. Cornwall. So there was one poll saying it was in the top three of places yeah. to live. As you said, that's been voted on by, uh, well, that's actually been surveyed, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's a criteria, that's criteria based. based. Whereas this one here has just been voted on by the general public, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't make any sense, though, does it? <laughs> no, I, I just think that maybe their survey's been hoodwinked. <laughs> like you say, I, I think personally, my theory is it's the students. What do you think? Do you think everybody that lives in Falmouth absolutely hates it here? With the prices and the development going on, I would suggest otherwise. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot now, Sarah. Okay. So, so that, that, that poll was basically saying this was the most depressing town in the United Kingdom. Uh. Right, we haven't been to every single town or city in, in the UK, <laughs> but in, in Cornwall, yes. right, I mean, I, I, yeah, obviously we were surprised that Falmouth came out. On that, yeah. on that list, didn't we? Yeah. But what would you put, say, in Cornwall as the most depressing town? Oh, you've really put me on the spot. <laughs> I have, haven't I? I'm going to throw it straight back at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I'd go to St I knew you were going to say yeah. that. I knew. No, it's an Orstall. We will be good doing. We'll have to go there soon. We've really found a good story a about that. Actually, do, do you know they've got the tallest ceramic sta exactly. <laughs> statue yeah. in it? <laughs> In the United Kingdom, in St. Austin. We'll have to go and find 11 it. 11 and a half metres tall, yeah. apparently. Yeah. 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 Don't put this in the video, I'll be banned. I, can't, I won't be able to go there. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed our video. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up. You usually do this bit. Oh, yeah, I do. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, yes. What do you think? Is this a load of rubbish? <laughs> Not the video, obviously. <laughs> well, that you. <laughs> I'm a bit if you think it's a load of rubbish, put that in the comments yeah, too. Don't do that. <laughs> so until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye. Right, well, from ice cream. <laughs> yeah, me too. Can you film me? Uh, right, just, just in slice in the video. Uh, yeah, uh, Camborne's the most depressing town. <laughs> right, that's, that's the first one. Then we'll go. Uh, uh, right, well, you've got to do Redruth. Oh, yeah, Redruth, that's the most depressing town. Uh, uh, Bodmin? Bodmin, I'll go with Bodmin. Yeah. Or oh, Liscard. Liscard, <laughs> yeah. Lou? Lou. Yeah. St. Ives, because it's empty in winter. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Penzance. Uh, yeah. It's an awesome city. It is, isn't it? Don't put that in the video, alright? I'll be banned. There he goes. Hang your head in shame, Andrew.